Hello, this is a quick video tutorial on how to run multiple instances of Ban in a Box. Um, before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Bass Thumper for posting this topic on the PG Music forums and for drawing up the uh, tutorial that he posted there that inspired this video. I'd also like to give a shout out to Pipeline, Jim Fogel, and Mario D for their contributions in that thread. So, like many other programs, it's possible to run multiple instances of Ban in a Box at one time, which is handy if you're working on multiple tunes at once or you just want to have access to uh, both your projects or, or however many um, projects at once. So to do this, uh, you can go up here to Options, and Preferences, and in this window, You'll have this option here, allow multiple instances of ban in a box to be running. I'm going to click that checkbox and select OK. And from this point on, you can open ban in a box uh, in, in multiple instances. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. Uh, you can just go ahead and, and click on the uh, shortcut on your computer to open it up again. You could also uh, select a song file that's saved on your computer, or my preferred method is just right-clicking uh, down here on the icon in the taskbar, and you can either select the BBW64 or whichever version you're running of the Band in a Box application, or uh, select one of the recent songs. So like, I'll just go ahead and click BBW64, And you can see now I have another ban in a box open. Now, there sometimes uh, will be a little uh, Windows audio session error that, that'll pop up if you're trying to use uh, two uh, instances of ban in a box or more at once. So uh, what you could do to, to remedy that is go up to audio and select audio drivers slash settings. And here, depending on which audio driver type you have selected, um, steps are virtually the same. So I have uh, WAS selected. I'll click Audio Drivers. And then I will want to deselect Output Always On. And press OK. Same thing with uh, MME. So if I have that selected, now this little window pops up automatically uh, when you select it. Um, otherwise, you can select Audio Drivers and get it here. And again, deselect output always on. Uh, if you're using an a audio interface and you're using Osseo drivers, um, same thing here, but you'll want to deselect the Osseo always on and press OK. So you can also open multiple instances of Ban in a Box on Mac. What you'll do with the Ban in a Box program open is click Options, then select Preferences. And you want to locate this option down here. Allow multiple instances of Ban in a Box to be running. Go ahead and click that checkbox to enable it. And then we'll press OK. Then from here, what we're going to want to do is locate the Ban in a Box application. So we're going to open our Finder. And if your Ban in a Box is installed to your computer's internal hard drive, you'll select Applications. And then you will select the Ban in a Box folder to open it up. And here you will see your Ban in a Box application. If it's installed to an external drive, the steps are pretty much the same. Uh, but you will select your uh, external drive here in your Finder. And then you'll want to open the Applications folder on that drive, then the Ban in a Box folder, and then you will see where your uh, Ban in a Box application is located. Uh, from here on though, the steps are the same. You're gonna either right click or hold down control on your keyboard and click the Ban in a Box application. And you're gonna select Duplicate. And this is gonna make a copy of the Ban in a Box application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on that. And as you can see here, I now have two Bannerbox applications open. So if you were wanting to open more than 
two instances of uh, ban in a box, let's say you wanted to open four, you'd have to make four copies or four duplicates of that application, and you would have to select them individually to open them. So, uh, for instance, if I were to, if I wanted to open a third one, I would uh, just go back to here and control click, duplicate, and it's going to make ban in a box copy two. I can go ahead and click on that and it's going to open a third one. Uh, the reason for this is if you were to just click on the application, uh, oops, click on the application again here, so like this copy, it's going to just reference this uh, application that's already open. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at PG Music. We're always happy to help.